Okay, guys, welcome back. Turn Green Go Ham here. We're continuing on with our uh, Bloodborne o OP Arcane walkthrough. So, uh, we did get the Moonlight Sword. I did have enough uh, materials to take it up to plus nine. I just wanted to at least show it off a little bit. Uh, to really make it shine, it really needs a couple of nourishing gems. Um, what you're really looking for is nourishing because that's uh, percentage of all damage. Uh, as you can see here, it's a split between physical and arcane. So, you know, no matter what you do, you can't uh, make it all arcane. So the best way to go about it is to put like an arcane gem and a couple of nourishing gems. So uh, I put the gems that I had on it. As you can see, it's not super strong. Um... Uh, Matter of fact, it's, you know, 170 less powerful than the uh, Ludwigs that we have. So we're going to run with Ludwigs for now. Plus, all the enemies in um, the DLC are pretty resistant to Arcane. So there's no point in using it right now. Uh, but I did want to show off the moveset here. Uh, there's two ways it fights. It fights uh, like this, which is more of a standard greatsword kind of moveset. Uh, and then when you buff it up, it's the arcane blade where you get majority, uh, majority arcane damage. Uh, now, the thing about it is it has projectiles. And they use, as you'll notice, quicksilver bullets. Got some pretty nice uh, transfer type moves there. But what's really cool is, like I said, the the uh, projectile attacks that it's got. So let's go ahead and switch back to Ludwig's. This is still what we're going to stick with. Uh, put our Tenitris back on in case we need that. Uh, as you can see, we have enough for a level. So we're going to go ahead and grab another these. arcane level here. Very well. Let me. Takes us up to 68. Uh, so we're still a far cry from uh, 99. Um, <clears throat> we'll get as close as we can in this walkthrough. Farewell, good hunter. Let's go ahead and head back, and we should have an NPC to chat with. Now, I will say um, the Moonlight Sword really is a great sword. Um, it's fantastic if you get it gemmed right. Unfortunately, that means really spending a lot of time farming because nourishing gems are one of those. I mean, you can go you can go get some arcane gems off the gargoyles if you wanted to just buff the arcane side of it, but nourishing will buff both the physical and arcane. Uh, why is bro not here? Did he... Where, where are you? Let's uh, hang on. Let's go to a different uh, lantern real quick. I don't know if we have to go back and talk to him at the other place first or what. Or maybe because we talked to Ludwig and got the sword, he skipped that area. Possibly. He's still here. Beware, especially when the secret. Hmm. Let's go check one more time. If he doesn't show up, we'll proceed and hopefully his uh, quest picks up. Uh, and he moves on to the next area he's supposed to go to. Yeah, no, he's definitely not here. 
Oh well, let's continue on for now. Shrouded by night, but with steady strife. Colored by blood, but always clear of mind. Round under the church. Beasts are a curse and curse is a shackle. Only ye are the true blades of the church. So there's a guy. I just don't understand why this guy didn't show up. It is bothering me. Uh, anyway, there's a guy in here we're going to talk to. But first, we want to run down here. Ah, oh, stop getting hung. You definitely want to take care of the wheelchair guy first. He'll make your life uh, really bad. And we do want to check all of these rooms. There are some that you can't get into right now that require a key. This crash this is the worst weapon in the game. Yes. Old blood. That's locked. We'll get in there later. And that's locked for now. Okay, so this area, there's going to be a couple of NPCs. One of them's kind of sneaky about it, uh, but she will just straight up blast you with arcane over and over and over again. So we're going to sneak up here, grab this. And I'm thinking about different ways to approach this. First of all, let's find some high arcane gear. Looks like 50 is about the max there. Nope, 70. Blindfold. Seventies max there. Okay, so she's just going to blast you with a lot of uh, arcane spells, so I want to... Blue elixir. Let's pull him back here. Ooh, I don't have my auger on. That kind of sucks. Oh, he's up, dude. Let me fire a spell at you. Auger on. There we go. Like I said before, I really hate the dark areas where you can't lock on. Then he goes around a corner and breaks your lock on. And you gotta fight to get your lock on back. Alright, so now all we've got is the uh, arcane. Now, there's uh, a lot of back and forth. This could possibly be Vicar Amelia. She wears the same outfit. I don't know if she is or isn't. But she likes to fire lots of uh, arcane bolts at you. And we'll actually get that spell a little bit later. Or tool, I guess you would say. And she does like to just spam it. But 
would like to get out of the hole, please. And down she goes. As you can see, she really looks like Vicar Amelia. I don't know if she is or not. Okay, so those guys are taken care of. There's uh, a little cubby back here. We got some green eye rats. I've never seen those before. Where'd you go? There you are. Grab our bloodstone chunk. And then we've got a really weird uh, elevator up here to deal with. You see, nothing happens when you uh, approach, but it says insert eye pendant. And that's what we picked up from Lawrence earlier. We're going to pop that right through the top of its head into its eyeball. Disgusting. You can see those statues right there are wearing the uh, white church gloves, which I find interesting. that you all saw that I did not uh, really like the navigation of uh, Nightmare Frontier. And I made mention that sometimes you get lost in Forbidden Woods. Uh, before we head in this area, uh, we're going to go back down and do a little trick real quick. But uh, I know we talked about all of that, but uh, honestly, this area is the most confusing in my opinion. Um, there's just so many banisters, and you can turn it and make it do different things. We're going to do this, let it take off. Pretty much every Souls game has some... Um, has some uh, uh, elevator that does this. We got Lawrence's skull. We'll pull this. And the church cannon. So this is the one that the big um, executioners were using. Take this back up. We'll do the elevator shuffle again. And we'll head up top. And we'll proceed to the world of squishy brain fluid. Splish splash. Flip plop splish splash. These guys are really weird up here. The friend, the friendly ones are really weird, and the enemies—they're just all variations of the same type of enemy, really. But yeah, those guys are wearing uh, healing church gloves, which kind of odd. Uh, let's see, we want more physical defense. What do we want to wear here? this cage no let's wear the cane hearse we haven't worn the cane hearse yet and I really do like the look of it Okay, we already hit that lantern. And we're in the research hall. Take care of this guy, and there's another one over there. Let's go grab him before he runs away. Has someone. No, come back here. As you can see, the water down here poisons you. Let's get out before we're fully poisoned here. One more item to uh, pick up in there. We'll, we'll grab that after our poison wears off. 
And then we'll start heading up this uh, maze of twisty, turny staircases. With lots of these weird dudes. Has someone, anyone, seen my eyes? I am afraid I've dropped them in a puddle. Everything's pale now. Blue elixir that always comes in handy and all of our doors down here are locked for the time being but we'll slowly start opening those up as we go okay so these guys are no joke uh, they will push you around and get you in a stun lock maneuver so be mindful be careful And dashing around can get you into trouble here. So be mindful of that as well. And then you've got these. And that does just a crap ton of damage. So always be on the lookout for pressure plates. Ah, oh, like that. I was too busy trying to sneak up on the guy. But it's okay. Just turn around. Nothing to see here. Turn around. There you go. See you later, dude. Geriatrics and wheelchairs are never your friend. That one's not operable. This one is. Before we go down there, though. Go down this direction. So we've seen the ones that walk around. These are the ones that crawl around. And they are very, very hyper. Settle down, dude. And the decorative old hunter garb. Go ahead and open this. Ah, oh, I hate that. Hmm. Yeah, they do hurt. And they do have quite a bit of stagger. We hear somebody out here. Plop, 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 splish, splash, splish, splash. Okay, there's not a, another door here. Nope. And this is our dead end. So we've gone as far as we can go on this. Uh, that's weird. Did y'all see that? Still had full health after I hit him? Oh, hey. There you are. Uh, 
this is as far as we can go here. Uh, there will eventually be a path that we're going to drop off of this or one of these banisters to get to. Uh, but we've cleared out everything that we can uh, for this portion. Go down here and um, back up this ladder and we'll take our little shortcut path. So this was the one we opened. It'll take us down to an interesting character. Bunch of really weird stuff going on here, man. That's uh straight up torture. Is that you, Lady Maria? No. You're someone else. Please, could you do something for me? I need brain fluid. Murky, mushy brain fluid. Please, I need bro So she wants brain fluid. Uh, we're gonna have to give it to her. We're gonna have to give it to her twice, actually. This will open a door back to the bottom floor. Hey, what are you doing down here? No patience allowed in the lobby. So we went that way last time, so we're gonna go this way this time. Um, this area is pretty crazy, actually. There are just a lot, a lot of enemies in there. I think there's a way that you can sneak up on the backside, so let's go this way first, and we'll see if that's the case. Trying to look around. You try to sneak up on me. Uh, so there's one top of these enemies in particular. Uh, that is very rough to deal with. And you can hear him kind of banging around when he screams. Kill me. Please. Just kill me. Okay. Uh, these guys, they've been... They've been tortured, man. Just put them out of their misery. There's, uh... Not a lot of, uh, blood echoes to be had, but just be nice and, uh, you know, put them out of their misery. There's a ladder here. I'll hop up it. Uh, but you can hear the guy screaming and banging around. That's gonna be the toughest of these enemies. You can see an item there. We'll grab that a little bit later. Very hard to take down without a parry. We start swinging that thing, it's got huge range, very uh, large hitbox, unpredictable. But if you can get a parry, they're pretty easy. Man. Why are you so violent? Just angry. This is the way down to those other guys. There should be something over here too, though. This is more the progression path up. So we'll head back down and take care of those other guys real quick and then we'll proceed on this way. Uh, luckily that guy we just handled that was swinging around the Avi um, stand. There's only a couple of those guys in here but they are very, very nasty. Uh, stay locked on, man. Oh, 
No, no. So all of these guys, if you were to come the other way, they'll wait for you to start engaging the enemies in the other room and then they'll all kind of sneak up around this corner on you. Uh, and these guys up here are going to throw stuff at you when you're on the bottom. Ooh. And now we really have just taken care of the majority of the problems in this room. You can see there's still a couple down there. There's a couple underneath us, uh, below this overhang as well. These guys, they don't, they don't seem dangerous, right? They don't. We're, we're, we're kind of just smashing through them. Really the only uh, one we've had a hard time with was the guy with the uh, IV stand. But trust me, there is a certain attack pattern that they have. If you get caught, that's pretty much it. You're going to die because they're just going to stun lock you into the wall and beat you, sense uh, beat you senseless. Let's make sure nobody got past us, and they did. That move right there that you saw him where he was just kind of pummeling the air, that's the one that will uh, just stun you into submission. Uh, so this is the direction we've already been, I believe, where we opened the door. Yes, yes, yes. But now we can go ahead and head up on progression. Done pretty much everything that we can do here. We already tried to grab this, yeah. Antidotes that we don't need. It's from all that uh, chalice dungeon farming. All that chalice dungeon farming that we didn't spend on levels. See, here's the thing. We could have already, ooh, yep. We could have already been level 99 arcane if we spent all of those levels that we got in the chalice dungeons. But instead I used it to grab um, items and whatnot because I didn't want anybody to feel like I was um, out leveling them. Uh, you never know. Maybe somebody had a hard time with those particular um, those particular uh, dungeons, and I didn't want to. I didn't want to have too big of a level gap because I would feel like we were leaving people behind with it. So come on, buddy. Oh, hey. Okay, so the deal is here, you want to run fast. This guy, he's he's going to shoot at you. we got to get past him. We've got a path down here. We can run over there and kill him. This is our next shortcut, so if we die, we can get all the way back up through the room with all the wheelchair bros. I'm just, uh, I'm gonna call them geriatrics from now on. Yeah, all the geriatrics, you can see they're all still dead. But that, that's our shortcut elevator, then we just run straight across to this shortcut elevator, and then we're back up. However, this way, we got a little, uh, hidden path here. Takes us to a hunter. In case we need it. Let's see if we can get it. Oh, he's not going to let us backstab him, I don't guess.
There we go. Easy enough. Didn't even need to load elixir. There are sedatives. And so these guys are friendly. So like you don't want to do anything to them, right? I'm a robin. Will I ever grow up and become an egg? What say you? Lady Maria. Lady Maria, say something. Anything. So they're obviously blind and they can hear somehow, but they don't know who you are, but they just seem friendly and it makes you feel really bad. But uh, we need something, so we gotta kill it. Which, don't worry, we grab the item, we got the brain fluid, now we can help the lady down below. But as you can see, they don't really die, man, they just come right back, so don't feel too bad, just, you know, kill them. And then they just come right back. They'll even still talk to you. Lady Maria, will I have, what say so? Like nothing ever happened. So, you know, don't feel bad. Just, uh, just murder. Um, probably make that roll. This is like the safer one though. So let's go this way. We'll go down and we'll deliver brain fluid. And then we'll uh, carry on from the top of the second uh, elevator there. Uh, no, this is not the room. Like I said, this place is uh, quite a bit confusing, man. Quite a bit. Prada, we probably should have done the other jump. Anyway, we'll go this way, go up the ladder. And, okay, so this is the um, shortcut room. I believe this is the one that goes down. go uh, deliver some wonderful wonderful brain fluid please I need brain fluid mercy mucky brain fluid oh thank you you're terribly kind oh it's wonderful Oh, I hear the sticky sound. Do you hear it too? I heard it when you were drinking that stuff. Oh, I know. Will you have my blood as thanks? I'll have you know. I was once a blood saint too, so do come back if you ever run dry of saint's blood. So, saint's blood, that's going to be the same type of blood that we get from... Uh, Ariana. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'll have you so do come. So if we were to use Ariana's blood. Oh, you ex That makes me. But I cannot. I'm sorry to trouble. <laughs> so now we've got the blood of Adeline. Okay, so we've got to find her some more uh, brain fluid, but she won't uh, she won't change her dialogue, I believe, until we kill the next boss. Uh, so it's not really a concern right this minute. But we will run across uh, shortly the next um, place that we can get brain fluid. Uh, looking at the time, we're at about 35 minutes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Um, finish this area up and, and the next boss probably in the next episode uh, I think we'll have enough time to get through the rest of the area so uh, if you enjoyed the video leave a like don't forget to subscribe and um, leave me a comment let me know what you're thinking about the the series so far um, don't forget to hit that notifications button it'll let you know anytime uh, any new videos are put out and uh, anyway thanks for watching till the next time